Good day. Welcome to King Mom's Everything. Today we're going to look at RetroPie, and this time it's on the Asus Tinkerboard. Yes, somebody put, put together an image, and it's out there. You can download it, and it works fantastic. So probably most people that bought the Tinkerboard at some point decided they want to put the RetroPie on there and realize it's not that easy. They've done it. So if you go to tinkerboarding.co.uk, look in the forums, and do a search for RetroPie, you'll see there's a dot two image out there, or point two. And at least of January when I install this, so you get a little taste of what it looks like. And I did it for you. I installed it, and I set it up, and we're going to do just a short gameplay, so at least you can see what it looks like and see if it's something you would be interested in. So here we go with the Retro Pie. She's booted up. And I just pointed the camera at the, the screen uh, just to make it easy for me. So you can see they got Mega Drive, uh, N64, NES, Ports, PlayStation, RetroPie, Sega 32X, Super Nintendo, uh, All Games, Favorites Edition, Last Played, uh, Sega Master System, Mega Drive. So it looks like we're going back around. So you can see it's basically a retro pie with some very pretty um, box art. Let's see what we got. And I think they did put some uh, games on here. Uh, I really don't care. I was going to put my own stuff on. But you kind of get a good idea. Kind of, let's see. Super Nintendo. As you can see, they have Leds they put a couple games. Legend of Zelda, Super Mario All-Stars, uh, Sega, Eco the Dolphin, Retro Pie. Uh, the normal things you're used to. They just did a really nice interface. This is really fantastic. PlayStation. So you see they put a PlayStation game on there. Ports. Nothing on there yet. And we can put all that in ourselves. Entertainment system. And yes. You can see you got a couple on there. Duck Hunt. Nintendo 64. A couple good games in there. Mega Drive. The Sonics. Just did a fantastic job. And I really like this uh, compared to the Retro Pie. I mean, the fan, you just the the um, the fantastic artwork kind of makes it more professional and uh, very pretty. So all games, I guess that lets you see them all. Oops. Uh, Retro Pie. Let's see. Configuration editor. Yes, themes. Here's the setup. And you can see it's kind of hard to see. I got this in 4K, so you're going to have a hard time reading it. Uh, but basically, you know, the, the normal setup stuff. So one thing I like to do, I like to turn on um, uh, SSH and uh, Samba just to make it easy for myself to uh, copy the ROMs over. And I'm going to put a few more, like ColecoVision and Atari 2600 on here and see if the box art fills in for me. I assume it will. Not maybe we can configure it, but uh, so far fairly well impressed. Seems like it performs well. I played a couple games. Let's see. We'll play Super Mario Brothers on the NES. Simple game to play, so it shouldn't be any struggle. And one of the the, the reasons I bought the Raz or the uh, uh, Tinkerboard was to get. Let's see. Uh, I probably have to configure my controller. Oh wait. Maybe I hit start. Let's see. Come on, baby. There's no sound. We do have the sound working. I'll turn it down a little bit so you're not deft. But uh, I did have to reconfigure the sound. It was actually, I don't think it was set for HDMI to, by default. So I set that and away we went. And I do need to still configure my controller. Um, looks like it's still not configured, but that's okay. You know, we're gonna get it. But as you can see, it does function, so that's kind of cool. 
can see I got, I'm uh, just using the keyboard here. It's maybe my, my joystick's working. Oh, there it goes. I can see somebody who has already played it. But, um, kind of get the idea that it does function, so that's really nice. I don't remember how you get to the main screen to get out of it. I thought it was escape or something. <clears throat> but, what I'll do, I'm just going to reboot it. That way you can kind of see it boot up. So I'm going to reboot this guy and let it boot up so you can see it boot up. You're just going to notice the normal uh, uh, kind of Linux text boot. Maybe. Come on, baby. Oh, I turned it off. Hang on, let me turn it on. There we go. <clears throat> now I should see boot up. But so far, so good. I mean, I haven't played everything on it yet but I played enough that it seems like it does function. And just like the normal RetroPie, it does take some setup. So uh, apparently I had to set the sound to HDMI. And you can see it booting up. And there you go. Back to the main screen. Let's play one more just for fun. Uh, let's see. Something a little more taxi. Let's try PlayStation. That seems like it's usually the uh, the games that are really pretty taxing on the processor. It got, Nintendo 64 is pretty taxing too, but it, uh, even with the RetroPie, I think some of the Nintendo 64 stuff is a little laggy. I definitely need to configure my controller properly. Let's see, maybe I can get by this. There we go. I'm gonna play that guy. There we go. So you kind of see it works. Sound works. Looks good. Okay, well, anyway, you kind of get the idea, uh, RetroPie on the Asus Tinkerboard. Uh, I'll put the link to the download in the description below, so if you want to download and copy it. It is 16 gigabytes, uncompressed, uh, compresses, uh, com downloads as 8 gigabytes in a zip file, I think it was zip, but when you uncompress it, it's 16 gigabytes, so you can see the, the price just because there's games and stuff on there. Um, seems like a lot of space for what's on there, but you know, that is the Aces Tinkerboard with RetroPie, and I think that's something everybody who buys the Tinkerboard would like to do at some point. I know that's originally why I bought it. I liked it because um, it, um, it was faster, more memory, uh, performed really well. So, if, like for a desktop, it's a really good option. But RetroPie, I think it's gonna uh, pretty sh pretty much shine when it gets uh, uh, working correctly and everything configured. Just having that little extra processor power, I think that's going to be a big option. So, anyway, thought I'd pop that out there, let everybody take a peek at it. Have a great day.